Hello children, welcome to all for ABVK group of institution. Today's class we are going to learn the lesson number 9, Keeping our neighborhood clean. Keeping our neighborhood clean. Yes children, in the last class we learned that what do you mean by neighborhood and what are the places will be there in the neighborhood and all. So in this lesson we are going to learn that how should we keep our neighborhood. How should we keep our neighborhood. So that things we are going to learn in this period. Okay children. So see children keeping our neighborhood clean. A clean neighborhood makes us feel proud and happy. Yes or no? If you are keeping your neighborhood very clean, miss, you feel very, feel proud. Yes, my neighborhood is looking very good. And you will feel, you will feel, you are telling very proudly. Yes, my neighborhood is good and very happy also. Yes or no? Nobody will say if your neighborhood clean, miss, you feel very happy. Can you tell me what you mean by neighborhood? The area around our house, the area around our house, what are the places we will be there no that is known as a neighborhood we enjoy the peace and cleanness of the good neighborhood each and every neighbors they are very happy and very peace of the cleanliness yes sir no each and everyone they are happy about the good neighborhood yes sir no who are the good neighbor they are very happy about the cleanness yes sir no next a green and how should we keep our neighborhood? We should keep our neighborhood clean and green. Yes, very good children. How should we keep our neighborhood? We should keep our neighborhood clean and green. Yes sir, no. So how we have to keep? See children, some people throw garbage outside their home on the street. Where they are throwing the garbage things and all? Yes, they are throwing on the street or road. Do you people, you people are doing like that? No, very good. You should not throw on the road, children. Yes, I know some people, they don't know about that. That's why they are throwing everything on the road. But it is not, it is good? No, it is not right. It is not correct. Okay, it is very bad. Okay, next, what we have to do? Then where we have to throw? Even ask, ma'am, you are telling you should not throw on the bin or you should not throw on the garbage inside the, or outside the road or street and all. Then where we have to throw? Yes, children, I will tell you. We should throw rubbish in the bin yes or no whatever waste things will be there where we should keep we should keep on the bin bin very well what do you mean by bin waste things and all where we are keeping now that is known as a bin dust bin okay the garbage things and all we should put on the bin so after if it is finished or if it is film is what we will do we should give to a garbage collector for whom we have to give we should give to a garbage collector who is that garbage collector the person who collect that the garbage the person who will collect the rubbish things and all garbage now that person we will call as a garbage collector a person who collect the garbage and rubbish is called as a garbage collector the rubbish should always be given to the garbage collector. We should always give to the garbage collector. Not to throw the road and street and all. In some cities in India. See children. In some cities in India. If we throw the garbage. If you are throwing the garbage on the road. No. We have to pay the fine. Who have to pay the fine? Who, who are the throwing the garbage things on the road. Or a street and all. No. In the area and all. That person has to pay the fee or a fine has to pay for whom he want to pay he has to pay for the government and also they are given severe punishment also so that's why we should not throw on the rubbish things on the road water lake pond and all we should give to garbage collector understood no children where we have to give for whom we have to give we have to give to garbage collector next children we should keep our neighborhood green. How should we keep our neighborhood? We should keep our neighborhood green. And we should not harm any plants. We should not damage any plants. Growing there, we should not pluck flower in the garden also. We should not pluck the flower in the garden. When we are walking, you should 
pluck them pluck the flowers and leaves and all but we should not do like that and also we should not walk over on the plants we should not walk over on the plants understood now children we should keep our neighborhood clean and green by growing more plants and we should not pluck the flower and we should not pluck the leaves also and we should not walk on the plants and we should try to uh, try not to cut the trees see children we should try not to cut the trees we should not allow to cut the trees we should grow more plants in our near our neighborhood yes or no if you are growing more plants and uh, trees and all means your neighborhood should very green only it's very good atmosphere you feel proud about that neighborhood yes or no it is our duty whose duty children it is our duty for the human beings duty to keeping our neighborhood clean and green okay we always look after the neighborhood next children this is the lesson okay how should we keep our neighborhood next let's recall what we have learned in this lesson so we should keep our neighborhood clean how should we keep our neighborhood we should keep our neighborhood clean and we should not throw the garbage outside our house we should throw our garbage outside the road no we should not throw garbage outside our house road street and all and we should not keep our neighborhood uh, sorry we should keep our neighborhood green and we should not allow to cut the trees and we should plant more in our neighborhood we should grow more plant and trees in our neighborhood this is the lesson children i hope everyone are understood thank you thank you for